Rally around the West Indies. What's up, my wonderful peeps? Shout out to all the viewers, the subscribers, and the followers. Big up on yourself. So, when the West Indies don't perform well, we curse them and we knock them. So, it is only fear for when they perform well that we beat them up and shout them out. And right now, in this first test, we have managed to spank Bangladesh courtesy of a double century from uh, Myers. So, we're just going to take a look at how it all went down. So, resuming on 110 for 3. Still in search of 285 runs, Myers and Banner were set on 37 and 15 respectively and still in search of runs. Now, the resistance continued for a good period of time because Myers and Banner, they were actually looking pretty comfortable and they weren't really troubled by the bowlers. Uh, separate and apart from a couple of uh, um, LBW shouts that banner actually survived you know we were looking pretty comfortable and everything that the tigers actually um threw at us we were able to repel it and the guys continued to tick over the score tick over the score until you know the thing that really looked impossible it became possible when the new ball was eventually introduced by bangladesh uh, Myers, he actually brought up his, his maiden test century when a ball took the edge and flew through the vacant slip region down to the boundary for four. So we just want to shout out Myers because he came in the team. It was a rush up team, a drag up team, and he came in and he was able to stick down his head and butt and get a century out of it. So that's actually very good to see there from Myers. Um, where Banner is concerned, he was there, he absorbed a whole lot of balls. I know we are always saying that boy Banner need to score faster, but this innings was actually well timed. It was pretty well timed, I must say. Um, he was eventually dismissed for I think it was about 86, but he, he would have um, lasted over 200 and odd bars. You know, so while he was there absorbing some bars, Myers was able to stick down his head and, and score some runs. So it was the perfect partnership as regards Myers and Banner while we went in search of that um, 285 that we needed on the last day. Now, Banner's removal meant that um, German Blackwood was introduced to the crease and he didn't last very long because he came and he, he made nine runs. And, um, you know, he, he wasn't so effective as he was in the, in the first innings. But we can't even knock him because that's how cricket is. You perform well in the first innings. Doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to come and give us a big score in the second innings. And we don't want to even put any negative over the, the positive right now. Because the victory is enough for us as, as um, based on how I see it. Now, when Blackwood was removed... Um, this brought wicked keeper batsman that silver to the crease and I must say he was there and he, you know he was doing his little thing until he was removed for 20 after um, the silver in came our pace bowler Kemar Roach and he occupied the crease for a period of time he was able to block a couple of bars didn't trouble the score but by this time we were actually on the home stretch you know Myers was there stroking the ball around and we were joined closer to the target Roach was eventually removed without troubling the score. Then in came um, Rakeem Carnwall. And I mean, he didn't need to play any illustrious shots or any, you know, outrageous shots because by this time Myers would have already taken us over the line and thing like that. So we just want to shout out to Myers because throughout the all of this, the man was able to stick down his head, bring up his double century and eventually brought us over the line and you know this is something very good because making it making your debut against bangladesh it's not it's not anything easy i mean they might not have the best pace bowlers in the world but it takes a lot of concentration because you have to go out there and um take on those spinners know when to attack know when to defend i mean he was getting a little edgy when he was um in the 90s bringing up his um about to bring up his century when the Tigers took the new ball, he actually fished at a couple of balls, but he survived. And that is how the game is, especially when you are batting for long periods of time. So viewers and subscribers, I must say a real congratulations to the entire team. Especially um, Banner and Myers, because they really stuck it out for us. And when we were able to reach 295 for 7, you know, this actually meant that we would have won the game by 3 wickets. And we had um, 15 balls to spear. So, big up to the guys, man. And I can just imagine the amount of emotions that is actually running through the camp right now. Especially Myers. Because, as I said earlier, it's really special to get a century on debut, much less a double century. So, shout out to the guys, man. It's actually well done. 
you know, I am one of them that I always bring up, they, they bring across the points when they are not performing well. So now that they give us a good performance, I have to spend the same amount of time and the same energy to big up the man them. Now, Meyer's effort um, actually meant that he was named man of the match and deservingly so. We don't, we don't see anybody else who could have gotten it. So, congratulations to Myers, you know, making debut and, uh, and also getting man of the match at the same time. Very good experience, very good um, performance from him. Now, as it regards to the bowling for the Tigers, Hassan, he actually finished picked off the bowler, getting 4 for 113. But, you know, that effort was still not enough to overthrow or to overturn the, the Windies batsmen. Uh, as it regards to West Indies now, there are a couple of key performers that we need to highlight. Not that we want to single out anybody um, out of the team, but when you're talking about uh, Myers, Banner, um, Brathwaite and Blackwood in the first innings, as it regards to the bowling, uh, Warrican and Cornwall, these guys actually set up the thing for us from the um from the from the first inning. So we have to we have to point them out just the same. But all in all it was a good team effort and going into the second game I think you know we just have a couple of things that we need to tighten up. Say for example the guys at the top of the order they need to chip in with some runs. Uh, our pace bowlers we can't even knock them too much because we see that the wicket is spinning. Um, but we just need to need to tighten up especially where the batting is concerned because now that we see that we have the capability or we have the ability to score a um, good amount of runs and spinning wicket the, the other guys just need to apply themselves because um, yeah man we, we, we are proud this is how we want to see West Indies perform when we when we when we criticize them you know, it's simple because we want them to do better and this is something that really, really enlighten our Sunday morning this um here. Yeah man, so shout out to the guys. Once again, sports to the bone here, bigging up the West Indies team. Viewers and subscribers, let me know what you think in the comment section about this performance from the guys. Sports to the bone, keeping you informed. Please remember to like, share, leave us a comment. If you have not yet subscribed, remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm out.